If you're a student at a college or university in North Carolina and you find yourself facing a Title IX hearing, it's critical to take necessary steps well in advance of the hearing itself. At a time during the Title IX case, the school will present an investigation report. Prior to it being finalized, the report needs to be responded to as strongly and as effectively as possible. All relevant information, documentation, and evidence would have to be incorporated into the final investigation report at an absolute minimum. Relevant text messages, social media posts, pictures, videos, witness statements, uh, forensic evaluation, a toxicology report if consent is an issue, a polygraph and examination. The report needs to be as strong as possible before it's finalized because once finalized, it's presented to the hearing panel. The hearing panel reviews it in advance of the hearing and would have a strong sense of the case before the hearing even takes place. Attacking the accuser's credibility is often key throughout the course of the case, including at the hearing, so questions for the accuser and their witnesses would have to be prepared in advance of the hearing. With that in mind, the accused and the accused witnesses would have to be prepped and prepared accordingly. An opening and closing statement would have to be drafted. Potential pitfalls and missteps that can take place during the course of the hearing, a party would have to be prepared for. The hearing panel itself would have to be considered for potential bias or conflict of interest. Many steps have to be taken both before the hearing and at the hearing itself to ensure the prospect of a favorable outcome. An attorney advisor can help with taking those steps to ensure a fair and favorable process.